a very special Powoic victory. To this day, 17 years later, after a tragedy of a plane crash, Kyle Larson gets his ninth victory of 2021. And even his second set of three in a row victories since Dale Sr. in 1987. God, is there anything Kyle Larson cannot do? You cannot deny this guy is a Hall of Famer and a GOAT in the making and an upcoming legend for Hendrick Motorsports. Nine wins and only 34 starts. God, I know I've said this so many times. Chip Ganassi Racing was holding him back from his talent passion and skills even oh my god has even led more laps now in a single season than Jeff Gordon in 2001 man now 15 wins of 2021 for Hendrick Rick Hendrick you made the best choice Hiring this guy to be with our team. He is on fire. Oh my God. This is like my childhood and my adult years in the 2020s. <laughs> oh my God. What a hell of a day. Man, what a day. Man, Larson, you are a hell of a dude and a hell of a driver. You have the talent. You have the skills. You are passionate. That is what we need in Hendrick Motorsports. You are a great driver. You are a le an upcoming legend Three in this year. Nine wins, including three road course wins, a crown jewel at the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte. Man, what more can I say about you? What more can I say that hasn't been said? Man, I brought you magic when I bought your... The, uh, the Ricky Hendrick die cast at Walmart just last night. Man, I made the best choice. I brought you magic. I may have brought magic. Magic. <laughs> Sorry, I just had a reference. Uh, um, ben Stiller that played Larry in uh, Night at the Museum 1 from 2006. <laughs> Man. And Chase Elliott got another podium finish. How about that? Great on William Byron getting another top 10. At Kansas. God, this race was terrible though. I'll admit. But hell yeah, Kyle Larson for winning. Chase Elliott got another podium got a podium finish at Kansas. I'm just hoping he does what. Well. Chase Elliott can win Martinsville so he can make the final four again. But I highly doubt that. Well, and Larson is unfortunately not that great at Martinsville. So that's an unfortunate thing. I highly doubt him, Elliott or Larson can win at Martinsville, but gotta wait and see. And I'm really hoping Larson can win this championship this year. He really needs that championship. But I doubt it because you never know with NASCAR's stupidity. They'll just fuck it up and pull a caution out of their ass and whack off to their 
drama mongering bullshit. You can't fix stupid at the end of the day, though. Well, yeah, what are you gonna do? I doubt Larson's gonna win this championship because NASCAR just loves to fuck everything up. But yeah, I am so happy Kyle Larson gets his ninth win at Kansas. Man, Larson is just a hell of a driver. And a goat in the making, a Hendrick legend. Your 15th cup win. You're only three away from tying Casey Kane on the all-time win list, too. As well as Newman, too. And you only got... And you now tie Downer Jr. on the Hendrick win list, too. And you're only three away from tying Terry Lapani for Hendrick wins as well. Is just there anything you cannot do, Kyle Larson? Oh, man, I am soaking this Hendrick victory up yet again. Three in a row yet again. Two sets of three in a row victories for Larson. Man. Larson, you are a legend. Man, I honestly wouldn't change a thing with Hendrick Motorsports. And I know some people are kind of been complaining and saying they're tired of Larson winning. Well, I hate to break it to you, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, there's always going to be dominant drivers on every sport, on everything that you watch in, in terms of sports. You guys hated it with Jeff and Jimmy back in the day because of them winning all the time. But when their dynasties came to an end, the fans loved them. That's just the nature of sports for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'd rather be entertained... No, man, no, sorry. I'd rather be bored to death by domination than entertained by petty bullshit. That's my opinion. I want these Hendrick drivers to succeed and to get and and to get so get further on the all-time win list and I want Hendrick drivers to succeed. These drivers in Hendrick, Elliot, Larson, Bowman, and Byron are perfect for this team. I honestly wouldn't change a thing with Hendrick Motorsports. They're, these guys are perfect. Rick Hendrick made the best choice to hire Kyle Larson for this team known as Hendrick Motorsports. He's wasted enough time with Chip Ganassi racing. Chip Ganassi was holding him back all that time. And now with Larson with Hendrick and only 34 starts this year, nine wins including three road course wins and a crown jewel at the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte. I want these Hendrick drivers to become Hall of Famers and to succeed and do great. That's what I want for this team. I'm a diehard Hendrick Motorsports fan and I want success in my favorite drivers. Wouldn't you want your favorite drivers to do great as well? I mean, come on. But anyways, yeah. Hell yes, Hendrick Motorsports. Go Kyle Larson. Go Hendrick Motorsports. At least, try to at least them finish in the top 10 or top 5, Larson. But I doubt that's going to happen. But if it does, great. History making, but I still highly doubt that. Same with the deal at Phoenix. NASCAR could pull a bullshit caution out of their ass and fuck everything up. And that'll fuck it. Larson out of the championship. Which I don't think that'll happen for Larson to win. But we'll, have to, we'll just have to wait and see. Because you never know with stupidity that goes on with NASCAR. But anyways, enough of that. Hell yes. Go Kyle Larson. Go Hendrick Motorsports. Best day ever to win on a, such a poetic historical day 17 years later for Larson winning in a Hen Ricky Hendrick paint scheme this race at Kansas but anyways see you guys later have a great night go Hendrick Motorsports go Kyle Larson
And this is Blaze Life 334, blazing out, ladies and gentlemen.